What's going on guys, Jeff here, and we got a brand new video for you. I told you we we're going to be getting back into some basics. Here's some old footage of my nano tank, and the reason that we're showing you some nano tank footage today is because we're going to be talking about the top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's jump into our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank. And coming in at the number 10 spot on our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank is the Yasha Gobi. Now, the great thing about Yasha Gobi is not only are they absolutely stunning, they are regularly, or at least on the regular captive bred uh, they are also easy to care for have a peaceful temperament work really well with other fish they do need a number of hiding spots so that they can feel secure and they are considered a carnivore are considered reef safe can grow upwards to two and a half inches require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons and are a incredibly beautiful fish uh, they also have been known to have a relationship with pistol shrimp so if you're looking for some type of goby to pair up with a pistol shrimp consider the yasha goby coming in at number nine on our top 10 is the neon blue goby now the neon blue goby is incredibly small uh, and it definitely works well in a smaller aquarium you could probably go a little bit smaller than what the actual recommended minimum tank size is which is 10 gallons because uh, this fish is in fact very very small they are considered easy to care for have a peaceful temperament carnivore based diet are considered reef safe grow upwards of two inches and require a minimum tank size of like we talked about 10 gallons now this is a often captive bred saltwater fish so anytime that you can support aquaculture it is incredibly important to do so because that is going to sustain the hobby in the wild this fish is known to actually pick off parasites off from larger fish and that really makes up the bulk of this fish's diet uh, so in a aquarium setting it isn't going to be uncommon to see this little guy nestle up to a fish and see if he's all right make sure there's no parasites on him and get himself a little meal check him out the neon blue goby Coming in at number eight on our top 10 is the yellowhead jawfish. Now, this fish is as beautiful as many of the nano fish out there. Uh, this guy is definitely a character and has a lot of personality. As far as the care level on this guy, he is moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, and carnivore-based diet. They are considered to be reef safe, grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons now the big thing about this fish uh, not only is it beautiful it does have a crazy personality and it actually can seem almost playful at times in a reef tank uh, but this guy is definitely a fish that you know needs plenty of food and hiding places to feel secure in a small aquarium check them out the yellowhead jawfish Coming in at number seven on our top 10 is the Hector Gobi. Now, this is a fish that I have tried to keep in the past, and actually, I did not have a tremendous amount of success with keeping this fish. Now, you might be asking yourself, Jeff, if you're, you know, having struggles with keeping this fish, why are you suggesting it in a top 10? Well, uh, this is a captive bred jester goby which anytime that you are working with a fish that you know may be intermediate to difficult to keep but captive bred it's going to be much more adapted to aquarium life and that's why captive bred saltwater fish is definitely the best option if it is available even if you have to pay a little bit more that fish is going to be much healthier and much more adjusted to aquarium life than a wild caught this fish is moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet, is considered reef safe, grows upwards of 3 inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number 6 on our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank is the Hyphen Banded Goby. Now this is a fish that I do have some experience with and actually kept it for a little while with a pistol shrimp. Unfortunately, this fish did jump out of my nano tank and it's very important to make sure that, you know, anytime that you're working with uh, gobies and small tanks, it's really a good idea to make sure you have a lid 
on your tank, whether it be, you know, a piece of plexiglass or something that actually comes with the tank, even a custom job where you have that clear netting, there is risk of fish uh, such as like this one or even like a Yasha Gobi or Gobies in general, like we kind of talked about. Uh, it's very important to make sure that there's something that's going to at least attempt to keep them in the tank. The hyphen goby, absolute beautiful fish, has a very striking yellow head and maroon or to brownish bands that run down the side. And an incredibly long dorsal fin is a beautiful addition to any nano tank. They are considered moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of two inches, and require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Coming in at number five on our top 10 is the Yellow Watchman Gobi. Now, the Yellow Watchman Gobi is probably one of my most favorite saltwater fish, regardless of nano tank, large tank, huge tank. They are definitely an interesting fish that have a lot of personality. And like most Gobies, uh, are jumpers. So it's important to make sure that you do have that lid on the tank. Uh, they do have a tremendous amount of character and also characteristics that make them a very interesting saltwater fish to keep. Not only that, they are considered easy to keep. Uh, so that makes them a great addition for most of you nano tank keepers out there they are considered peaceful have a carnivore based diet and are considered reef safe grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons check them out the yellow watchman goby coming in at number four on our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank is something that i have recently discovered and have had some personal experience with that is the barnacle blenny now there's a couple different variations of this fish but all of them are incredibly interesting incredibly hardy and definitely a great addition to just about any tank this is a fish that you can keep in small groups you can also keep them in incredibly large groups in a larger aquarium and definitely benefit from some empty barnacles being in the reef tank now, the reason that I have recently discovered this fish is because I did have a customer come into the store and ask for this fish specifically. I brought him in and I was kind of like, because eh, they're kind of brownish in coloration. There's not, it's mostly camouflage. There's not a whole lot going on, but they do have an incredibly fiery red eye that is very colorful. Uh, the interesting thing about this fish is the way that it feeds. So for the most part, it kind of spends most of its day perching, checking stuff out. But as soon as food hits the water, they are lightning fast. They, wherever they're perched at or wherever they're sitting at, and then just like the flash himself, go up, grab the food that's in the water column and go back to where they were in like a second maybe even a half a second they are the probably one of the fastest fish i think i've ever seen in my life and this is definitely a fish that i'm going to be uh taking and getting a large school of for the 403 gallon build that i'm going to be working on here pretty soon as far as the specs on this guy he is easy to care for has a peaceful temperament carnivore based diet is considered reef safe grows upwards of two inches and requires a minimum tank size of 10 gallons Coming in at number three on our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank is the clown goby. Whether it be the green, the yellow, uh, this is a fish that's probably best suited for a nano tank, specifically a nano tank that is not going to keep any type of acropora in it. Now, I have talked about my repetition across this here in the past uh, with the 220 gallon aquarium where I had lost very very large colonies of acropora to a very small little yellow clown goby and there there's a lot of things on the internet saying that you know this fish doesn't do that blah 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 blah, blah. i have seen it time and time again and just recently i was talking with a customer at the store and they also had the same experience as i did just so happens i randomly was talking about my experience and they were sitting there kind of quiet weren't saying much and then went home and sent me a picture of their acropora colony that they had in their tank with the clown goby and there was a huge dead spot right where that clown goby liked to sit but with all that said they are a beautiful fish and there is a place for them in this hobby just not with acropora they are easy to care for have a peaceful temperament carnivore based diet are considered reef safe grow upwards of an inch to inch and three quarters and require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons 
Coming in at number two on our top 10 saltwater fish for a nano reef tank is the fire fish. Now, even though this fish is incredibly common and seen quite often in this hobby, they are a absolute striking fish. Now, like we've talked about a couple times with the gobies, they're jumpers, so make sure you put a lid on it. And this has always been a fish that I've always wanted to keep a large school of in a somewhat easygoing reef tank. I just have never had the setup, but now that I have the store, maybe there's a display tank in the future where I could just have a large school of these fish and just kind of let them do their thing. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, are carnivores, considered reef safe, grow upwards of three inches and require a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 nano fish is the blue spot jawfish. These guys are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive carnivore in their diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of three and a half inches, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. If you want to learn more about saltwater fish, check this video out. I will see you over there.